In Java, there's this term you may have heard before called Boolean. It confused me and it may have confused you, but in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to use Boolean in Java. And if you watch all the way through, you'll have a fully working program using Booleans in Java. Hey you, it's Alex back again, helping you learn Java. On this channel, I make Java tutorials just like this every week. So if you're new here, then consider subscribing. So we're in Eclipse and we'll just start off our project by going to File, New, Java Project. And we'll name our project. We'll name it something like Boolean in Java and hit OK. Next, expand that and we're gonna make a file for our Java code. So right click on source and go to new class. Class just means Java file. So click that. We'll name the Java file, call it Boolean in Java. Again, hit this first check mark and hit finish. Now everything's set up for us. I'll just make this text a little smaller here. A Boolean is a variable just like any other variable, like int for integer, a string, double, long, float, boolean. It's just another kind of variable. So to make a boolean, well, let's see how we would make an int. To make an integer we, in Java, we would just type int. That's the little keyword, it turns purple. And then we'll say we wanna name our integer a and set it equal to zero. That's how we would make an integer. To make a boolean is the exact same thing, except you type boolean like this. This weird word, I think they made up. <laughs> I've never heard it before, before Java. We'll say B equals, let's try zero. We get an error here because we can't declare a Boolean as a number. It has to be either true or false. It can only be those two things, true or false, nothing else. So we can type true and now B is stored as true. The other option was false. So we can type false and everything works great. If we wanted to print out B, we can do that like this, B, and we'll save it and run it. And we'll see that false gets printed out. We want to print something, we want to print B. We go up here, we see that B is equal to false. So we print false. If you get one thing away from this video, I want it to be this, Boolean can only be true or false. Well, what if it's in double quotes like this? Can it be like that? It actually can't because these double quotes turn it into something called a string literal, which just means like the literal words, not the keyword F-A-L-S-E. So it can be true or false. It can also be anything that results into true or false. So it can be like if A is equal to zero, this works. It looks really confusing. But what we're doing here is we're setting a Boolean B equal to the results of checking if A is equal to zero. And that's what the two equal sign means. I'll go over this in a comparison operator video on the screen now if it's posted yet. But it's kind of like if we wrap these in parentheses, is A equal to zero? Looks like it is. And so that's true. And so B is now true if we saved it and ran this it's true. A little sneak peek into comparison operators for you. So what do we use Booleans for, Alex? Um, they're this funny word, what do we use them for in Java? In my seven years of coding, I would say Booleans in Java are mostly used for if statements. I'll go over what if statements are, but first I'll write it out. You type the keyword if, and then parentheses and curly braces. There's a little red underline here because inside these parentheses, you have to put something that's true or false. Sound familiar? That's a Boolean. So if statements always have a Boolean in the parentheses. Right now, we'll just pick one of our two options, true or false, we'll just pick true. And whenever what is in this parentheses is true, this code will get run, the code that's in these curly braces. So we'll do something simple like print out, um, we are in the if statement like that. Course, we'll finish it off with a semicolon. I'll zoom out a little more here. Okay, good. Save it. Run, see what happens. And look, we are in the if statement. If I change this to false, save it and run it, nothing happens. And we actually get these yellow underlines. And if we check out the warning, it says dead code. That means it never gets reached because it will never get run since it's false. So the flow here is we have our class, we named it Boolean in Java. 
we go inside and we see this main method. The main method always runs code when we click the green run button. We see that the first piece of code in the main method is this if keyword. An if statement works when what's in this parentheses is true, this code gets run. If it's false, it skips it and doesn't do anything. So it looks like this program does nothing. But if we change this to true like earlier, save and run it, we see that it is true and we do run this. And that's mostly what you use booleans in Java for is passing through if statements and things similar to if statements. Now let's write a program together using Boolean in Java. We're gonna write a program where we pass three different doors. We go through the first door and then the second door and then the third door. And those will be represented as if statements. So we already have our first if statement. We'll say we passed the first door like that. Save and run it. We have our first door. Next, we'll make a second one by just copying and pasting this since we're lazy. Change this to say we passed the second door. And we'll copy and paste this one more time and say we passed the third door. Save it and run it. And we get first, second, third. Now let's make this a little more interesting. Let's say we can pass a door or we can miss a door. True, we pass the door. False, we miss the door. So we can just represent those as Booleans. Remember to make a Boolean is just like any other variable, except we use this funny word Boolean. We'll name it past door, and that'll be equal to true. Next, we'll make a second one called missed door. So we'll name it missed door, and set that one equal to false the only two options a Boolean can be. So now we can have a little fun with it. Let's say we wanna pass the first and third door, but not the second. We could say past door, and this is the exact same thing as true, so we didn't really change anything logically. We're just replacing the true keyword with our Boolean variable past door. We'll skip the second one, we'll say missed door, and we'll pass the third door and type past door. Save it and run it. And you'll see that we only go through the first and third because this is equal to false. So we skip this code entirely. And I'm just gonna zoom out a little more here on the program so you can see everything. I've been doing a lot of zooming out, my bad. Let's make this even more interesting. Let's say if you pass all three doors, then you win you win the program. So we'll keep track of how many doors we passed. And if we passed three doors, then we'll print a message saying you won. So the counter would go up one if you're in here, it would go up again if you're in here, and it'd go up again if you're in here. So we can use an integer for that and then add one to it each time we go through a door. So to make an integer is just like a Boolean, just like any other type of variable. We type int, and then we'll say uh, door count as the name of it. And we'll set that equal to zero right now because we haven't gotten any through any doors yet. If we go through the first door, we will take our door counter and set it equal to whatever the door count currently is plus one. This is the same thing as saying our new door count is equal to the previous door count, which is zero plus one. We'll do the same thing for the second door. We'll take our door counter and we'll take our previous door count, which in this case would be one, and we'll add another one to it. And we'll do that exact same thing down below, but I'll just copy and paste that. The fourth step is if we passed all the doors, if our door count is equal to three, then print the congratulations you won message. But why do that when we could use Boolean in Java? Make a variable saying, did we win? Uh, let's think of a clever name for it. It's a Boolean and say, let's say um, passed all doors. Good, and we'll set that equal to false because they haven't done that yet. But we know that they passed all doors if the door count is three. So we'll say passed all doors is gonna be equal to true. 
once you passed all three doors in the door count. Now we'll just demo our little program here. I'll make this a little bigger. Um, we wanna make sure we pass all the doors. Remember, pass door is just the same thing as true. So the code will get run and it looks like it'll get run for each if statement here since they're all true. Our door count will keep track of all the doors we entered and if it's three, we'll have pass doors equal to true. So we'll say that and click this green run button and we'll see we passed the first, second, and third like we did before, but it's not actually doing anything because we never printed the you won message. But we can use our Boolean to see if we passed all of them. So we can say if we passed all doors, if passed all doors is true, that can only happen if the door count is equal to three. And that can only happen if you go through each of these doors. We'll say if you pass all the doors, then we'll print out congratu con. I can't spell. I'm the worst speller. Is anyone else a bad speller? Leave a comment below. Congratulations. You won the program. You won the game. Frick yeah, man. Frick yeah. We'll save it. Run that. And yes, you see if you go through the first door and you pass the second door and you pass the third door, then we get the message, congratulations, you won the program. If we missed one of these, say we missed the first door and change this to missed door, save it and run it. We don't get the, the congratulations message because he only passed two, but sorry, you gotta try again. I'm going to expand this for you because it's a pretty long program, but we're using a lot of Boolean concepts in Java here. A Boolean can only be two things. It can only be true or false, nothing else. You can do little tricks that result in true or false and then store that into a Boolean, like what we did before, where we could say like, um, is one equal to one? Make that a little neater with some parentheses. Take the result of that, one is equal to one, so that's true, and then store true into pass door, and that's what ha would happen there. So we know Booleans can be only true or false, and so we can use them in if statements, and that's what they're used a lot of the time for, whether we should go inside of an if statement or just skip right over it. In this case, it's skipping right over it because miss door is equal to false. We'll go to the second one. We see that pass door is a variable that holds true. So we'll go in here, we'll print this, we pass the second door, and then we'll go to our counter, which takes the previous door count and adds one to it. Do the same down thing down here for the third door. If door count is three, then you passed all of them and we'll store true into the Boolean variable pass all doors. If that's true, then we know we won the game and we know we can walk through doors. <laughs> we made the jokes on us because there's a key and we had to, to ninja our way through the doors and that's why it's so hard. If you enjoyed this video or you think it might help someone else with Boolean in Java, please share it and also like that. Click that like button. You could be doing anything in the world, but you're here on this video with me learning how to program and I appreciate that so much. I'll catch you next week.